happy we're at this point. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? Feel good. Feel good. I'm getting there. Okay. What's what's the recovery looking like right now? I know you saw some on the court stuff. Just what is it looking like right now with your recovery? Yeah, I mean, I uh, six months, six months that October third. So I was originally given like a six month process or time to get back. Uh, have another follow up mid October. The last step for me is really just getting five on five full contact. Uh, haven't gone contact against the player yet. Not clear to do that, but everything else, you know, I've been one on zero for four months now, which has been a lot of fun. So you're itching to get back just to get back. get back, go against somebody else. Okay. How does everything feel? The shot and everything else with the shoulder being in Feels good. Uh, it all does. Like I said, it's it's a lot of one v zero. You know, really, I've been in, in the gym like a regular off season since early June. Just haven't been able to go pick up or go live against anybody. But everything else feels really good. You talked about focusing on all of the aspects of basketball this off season, as opposed to just the offense that you played in last year. How much is being able to one v one, one v done, kind of help that? Yeah, I mean, just getting back to you know, myself, obviously. Um, continuing to work on anything that's kind of how we left it off. I think last time we all spoke is you know, really taking the summer to continue to be a better basketball player as a whole. And, uh, I feel like I've done that. You know, I'm ready to obviously put it to the test against other guys, but I spent a lot of time, uh, hours in the gym, hours in the weight room, hours rehabbing. Uh, so I'm excited to, uh, to get back and do the fun part. Kevin, for as good of a shooter as you are, you seem to get maybe a lot more open looks defensively than, than a team could or should be given you because playing with guys like Fox and Domas. Now adding DeMar to that fold and, and how much attention he'll draw away from yourself and keep getting guys on the perimeter, does that make your like, eyes light up with the idea of how many looks you're going to get? Yeah, it does. Uh, it does. Obviously, DeMar is a special offensive player, has been since he's been in the NBA. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to play against him for six years now. Uh, so it'll be kind of it'll be interesting to see how teams guard us. I, I don't know. If I know the answer to that yet. You know, we'll, we'll figure that out. But there's a lot of there's a lot of answers teams are going to have for us on any, on any given night. And whether they let Fox go one on one or Demar go one on one or let Domas go one on one, it's uh, a lot of ways to pick your poison. And so you know, I'm looking forward to more catch and shoot opportunities. Um, you know, I feel like my time in SAG, I mean, a lot of it has been off the move and really working for a lot of the shots that I'm getting with obviously the attention that, that Domas and Fox have, have always gotten, but there's some of those easier things to catch and shoot, get more in transition, be in the right spot, and we're just getting out to play, play off those guys. You shared before that Domas is one of the easiest guys in the league to play with because he'll always find you. What do you think about the two-man game between Domas and DeRozan and how those two can work together? Yeah, I know they've worked on it a little bit this summer. Uh, those guys spent some time in the gym together, and I think they're still continuing to figure that out, but Domas is an easy guy to play with. You know, he. You know, he truly he wants to pass first. You know, his his being aggressive and going to score is something that uh, is almost like a second option in his head. And sometimes we have to tell him to go get it, go get a bucket. So uh, I'm sure they'll they'll figure it out. What kind of test was this summer, knowing that you know what the season was what it was, both collectively and for you individually? Was this one of the toughest experiences you've had in a summer gearing up for a season, knowing that you were limited in what you could do? No, the, I mean the summer was a lot easier. Than, Last season, so the summer, you know, I was able to get back and you know, get in the gym with people I'm comfortable with. And, uh, the rehab wasn't fun, obviously. Anyone who knows that, it's a six months of rehabbing the same thing. Uh, it gets a little tedious, and you know, the day in, day out of, of doing it every day gets tough. But uh, you know, it's been a long road to get back where I am. I feel good, and uh, you're kind of ready to flip the page a little bit. Get after. Yeah, you're looking kind of kind of swole. What uh, what's the the summer strength program been like? Um, how have you added you know a little weight, and how much might that help you to slide over and, and play a little more three if, if they need to? Yeah, we'll see. You know, um, you know, again, I think I'm ready to see how you know all the pieces for us fit together, how how everything is put together in training camp. But uh, you know, for everything else, it's been good. You rehab a shoulder, it's a lot of accessory lifts, a lot of shoulder work, triceps, biceps, everything the guys you know, love to get and do. And so, uh, yeah, a lot of band work, rehab, get to do those types of things. But uh, yeah, I played, I played a lot of different positions you know, throughout my career. Um, you know, my time here has been mostly at the two, but you know, my time in, in Atlanta before that was you know, a lot of different positions. And you know, I think I've always been able to do that. Uh, 
Yeah, well, that's for that's for Mike when it comes to that year. Is it weighed up a little bit? It is, as of right now. But honestly, every year in training camp, I lose weight, so I can't yeah, I'll tell anybody, you three weeks. Yeah. Have anybody randomly or unexpectedly reached out to talk to you about how to deal with you know a long-term injury and kind of uh, out there? No, not really. Uh, you know, old coaches, I guess, that I haven't necessarily spoken to you know, day after day in a couple of years. Old coaches that have reached out and just kind of been like uh, some of my old college guys. Just you know, we know you're going to get through this. Keep your head down, work hard. You know that type of thing. Um, but no, not too much. No one, no one really that random. Yeah, we know how the physical ramp goes with the injury, but how are you feeling mentally during this season? Feel good. Feel good. I honestly, I'm ready to get back and play against somebody else. You, know, you get to this point, and uh, if I had to wake up for another month and continue to just go one v zero, or just me, myself, and a coach and a rebounder in a gym, I'd probably go a little bit crazy. So I'm ready to uh, to get cleared and start to play against somebody else. What mark? Out both Mark said, Did you talk to Devin about his injury and about what the process is going to be? Yeah, he, uh, yeah, me and Devin unfortunately spent more hours than I think we would like to, uh, just us two here. But yeah, he said the you know, last time he's been through some kind of injury before. Um, not sure all, all his details and you know, what doctor he used, but he, um, he said he was back quicker than six months last time. So that was kind of one thing we talked about. You know, I think he was in college and had a different surgeon than I did, so he um, says it's tedious, like it's, you know, shoulders, it's, it's a tough thing that we have just because there's so many different angles and motions that you have to be strong in, but uh, yeah, he seems, unfortunately, he's been through it already, so he kind of knows what it takes. Is he much of a catch-up period when you come back from this? I mean, I obviously have experienced this yet, but um, it, it, once you've cleared for contact, what do you think that ramp up period would be like? Yeah, they've talked about it, you know, it starts one-on-one, two-on-two. Playing against coaches a little bit, three on three. Yeah, hopefully, in training camp, I continue to get in shape. Yeah, that won't be an issue when I get back to five on five. But you know, there's, you know, it's the NBA. The speed of the game, you know, initially at first, is something that you can't replicate until you're actually in and you're playing. And so, uh, we'll get a lot of reps in practice. You guys know we will. And um, but it'll start ones, twos, threes against coaches, and then go from there and play fives. Last one. Is uh, your goal to, to get back in time for, for um, you know, a little bit of the preseason or, or the start of the regular season? Or do you think it'll be a little bit after that? Uh, yeah, I, you know, if it was up to me, I said I, ideally I'd, I'd sneak back in at some point in preseason or for game one. But uh, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to listen to my surgeon. You know, this whole path has been kind of follow his direction. Um, he knows best, and you know, that's why he did it. So uh, continue to work hard like I have been. You know, when I get back, this thing will be behind me, and I'll hopefully something will continue to deal with. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Kevin. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are you. Straight up.